Hi guys. So today is a very special day because we are here at Art Jamila Gallery. Today we will be discovering about the art journey of Art Jamila. Jamila, known as Art Jamila. Hello, today we have Wan Shima, the art manager and also the mother of Art Jamila. So, do you, can you tell something about yourself, about your family and Jamila herself? Okay, uh, me, my name is uh, Noha Shima Muhammad Nordin. Uh, I have uh, five children all together. Uh, Jamila is my fourth daughter. Uh, I am already 59 years old, so so excited to go into 60s. It's such a yeah, nice so. number. <laughs> okay, and um, my uh, my eldest son and my third son already passed away. The second son is a doctor, uh, working in the Grisham Bilan, and uh, my youngest daughter, uh, she is already a writer. Uh, now she is 16 years old. Um, and uh, currently, uh, I changed my profession to become an art manager to Ajamila um, and retire from my older previous profession as a lecturer and also architect. Can you tell us something more about Jamila? Okay, Jamila now she is uh, she just turned eighteen years old, mm -hmm. and uh, she. Uh, uh, well, the, um, you know how to say this. Uh, she have a class of her own. She do art with her own style. Mm -hmm. um, she she don't she didn't go to any school of art. Um, she, she she just uh, continue with doing her sketches, doodling. That's mm -hmm. how she started. And then uh, when she turned fourteen, I um, uh, introduced her to some artists. Uh, and to guide us with uh, all the acrylic canvas equipment and all that and then she moved into acrylic on canvas now um, she done very well with her art um, uh, acceptable to she's been appointed as an um, impact artist uh, by the Talent Foundation in Switzerland uh, for a sea pollution awareness and uh, well one several awards so I'm happy. How did it all start? How did you recognize the talent? When when she communicated to me um, through her sketches when she was small in school because at that time she was non-verbal and um, uh, whenever she wants to uh, say anything or explain anything she will do it through her sketches. Mm. Uh, even even before she went to primary school, she already started doing doodling and sketch what she likes, and mostly on her emotions like that. She's not happy uh, oh. when she was small. She was crying. Yeah, she liked to draw emotions, uh, mm. faces with uh, tears dropping, uh, um, like a waterfall from the eye, uh, like when when she cry a lot, um, mm. like that. Mostly emotions. Then when she moved uh, into standard four, uh, she already started to um, you know, speak a bit, a you know, very short sentence, and then uh, all the classmates uh, you know accepted her, and then she managed to do maths and science mm -hmm. quite well, uh, and she started to be happy. And then she moved the emotion into a happy emotion. Out of all hundreds of sketches that she made, what made her breakthrough in the art industry? At first, I print her sketches into a very small A5 card, okay. art card, and sent to a printer shop. 
uh, for printing. And someone uh, from Belgium saw and and asked the the, the printing shop whether he can get that art. Mm -hmm. So the the shop called me and, and asked me through a friend that can I someone wants to buy this art. So from there, and I said, oh, there is a demand about her art. Oh. Uh, at that time, it was mostly doodling um, about uh, late girls, uh, happy girls, you know, and that's what she she doodled on on the card. Oh, the three girls. Yeah, um, yeah, three girls and many happy little little girls. Oh, okay. uh, so that so uh, it started. I said, oh, okay. Then she have a, a a niche of her own. Then we started to do exhibition. Oh, uh, you know, two feet by six feet table. Uh, uh, the first one was in at um, TM convention uh, under Icon. So uh, and we get a lot of positive feedback there um, that her art is different. Yeah. So that's how we started. And at what time around the day would she be most productive? Would she be happy to draw? When to she art? is happy. Uh, it's not much on the schedule. No, 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 no. When when she is into painting, mm -hmm. she will do it non-stop, even until twelve o'clock midnight. I will, I will have to ask her to stop. Okay. Uh, sometimes when I offer her 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 favorite Starbucks drink and all mm -hmm. that, she will not stop. She said, "No, go away, go away." When she is like into the mood of uh, producing oh, something, okay. uh, but when she's tired, then she will like. Uh, you know, rest, mommy, I'm tired, you know, things like that. But of course, uh, I have a calendar which I put in all her schedule. Mm -hmm. Every day she will check her calendar and then she will know, okay, she have a deadline and she will plan herself. Um, how would she really be inspired? What is she inspired from? Uh, okay, when a role model or... Maybe something that she's seeing around her. It is um, about the people around her and the events happening around her. Because um, she loves uh, to put history into, into her art. Uh, so that is why I call her tag name as uh, Masterpiece of Memories. <laughs> Whatever in her memories, mm -hmm. she will put it on, on her painting. Okay. So that's how I got that 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 tagline. <laughs> so, do you know any of her signature art direction kind of style she like to put in her painting? Okay, uh, her style is it is it is her own style where she combine doodling and naive art together. Mm. Yes. Yeah, she just and, and uh, when her stroke is 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 mostly doodling, mm -hmm. um, and then um, the way she she put the color is like naive style of putting colors, and then uh, the way she compose her painting is mostly like she like to put like everything together. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, when she do tiger. Um, even the background also have little little tiger and then within the many many tigers that she put There's and then she draw the bigger tiger mm. um the outline of the bigger tiger just like the painting that we have yeah yeah have. because like like this one she have all the five ethnic of uh, people in malaysia uh, happily dancing uh, you know with the bandera malaysia like they are um, you know in assimilated with the malaysian flag uh, taking the skyline of Malaysia. And her choices of colour also changes in different series that she Yes, makes. yeah, correct. Most you can see a lot of red colour because of our Bendera Malaysia is mm -hmm. red, white, blue mm -hmm. and yellow. Um like if she paint um uh tiger, then she have a lot mixture of orange and brown. Yellow. Yes, yes. If oh. green cities then she have a, the uh, variety of greens uh, inside there. And her favorite medium now? Uh acrylic on canvas. Acrylic. Yeah. But she still used some pen for her sketches? Um uh, when she do sketches, yes. Yes. Oh, she okay. used pen. And I heard that she also does her painting digitally. Oh yeah, yeah. And she, how did she start into digital painting? Oh, when she was in standard four. Standard four. Yeah, in standard four. By hand or? Uh, using her finger. Uh, using one finger. 
her forefinger. Oh. She just did like that. It's, it's like this. I bought her an iPad. Um, I just bought and gave, gave to her because at that time uh, I need to have an iPad. It's, it's like an iPad era. Everybody carry iPad yeah. at that time. So she likes to like disturb my iPad. Then I decided to buy one for her. I said, okay, this is your iPad. And I don't know. It was so surprised. Um, she downloaded two software. Um, that is a painting software. Um, how to draw, and then she she know how to download and she know how to use the two software together, uh, to become her sketches. Ah, uh, yeah. To to put in the color, she use a different software, and to draw the lines is a different software. And um, I, I asked the younger sister, who taught her. She said no, she didn't. She just yeah. Oh. She, she just like do the research herself by herself. That's very good. Yeah. And. Up until today, she's still using the iPad. Or no, she, no, she I took the iPad away because um, I want her to speak, right? So with the yeah. iPad, she became like more, yeah, more passive because she keep on like concentrating with the iPad. So I took the iPad away, but it was difficult. She was like crying like hell. But then, um, and then I said, you have to start by on your pencil and your sketches because otherwise you will not be able to speak at all. Uh, and then. Uh, 2016, I decided to give her a handphone because I want to have WhatsApp so that she can communicate. I said, you want anything, you WhatsApp to me. Yeah. Right, right. So, and I will WhatsApp back to you, is it? Oh, okay. Then I want her to also to learn the skill uh, of communication, how to contact in, in terms of emergency. Uh -huh. And then now she uses her handphone as a sketches. I see. <laughs>